Welcome to Daily Hope from Victory Lutheran Church in Mesa, Arizona. I'm David Palmquist. Our scripture today is 2 Peter 1.21. For prophecy never had its origin in the will of man, but men spoke from God as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. I found this uh, devotion online this week and used it at a prayer breakfast I attend, and so I thought many of you would be blessed by it too if I used it in a daily hope today. Why do you believe the Bible? The skeptic asks. Because it's God's word, the Christian replies. Says who? The skeptic responds. Says the Bible, the Christian answers. Hmm. You can see why the logic that Christians love might not persuade a skeptical friend. The reasoning seems as unpersuasive as the parent who responds to their kid's question with, because I said so. Well, thankfully, there are powerful arguments to back up our belief in the Bible. One of my favorites is how the Old Testament prophets knew what the New Testament apostles got to see live. Take Isaiah, for example. Isaiah knew that God's chosen Messiah would be born of a virgin in Isaiah 7. He knew that the Christ would come from the family of King David in Isaiah 11. He knew that the Savior would be pierced for sins, suffer silently, be buried with the rich, and see the light of life again, all in Isaiah 53. How in the world? Did Isaiah, living 700 years before the birth of Jesus, know all of that? Well, the Apostle Peter has a reason in our passage. For the prophecy never had its origin in the will of man, but prophets, though human, spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. The Old Testament prophecies were indeed written by humans, but those humans had help. The Holy Spirit. That's how they knew things no human could know. The prophet's knowledge given by the Holy Spirit is one of the persuasive reasons that we Christians believe in the Holy Bible. Join me in a word of prayer. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word that we have to this very day down through the centuries, that it is your word, true and true. Not just that it contains parts, but it all is your word to benefit us and to give glory to you. We thank you for that. What proof it is in the Old and New Testaments to see it connected so much and so closely, all pointing to Jesus our Savior. It's in his name we pray. Amen. Well, thanks for joining us today for Daily Hope from God's Word. Please remember to press like, click share, and subscribe to our channel. And remember, the Lord said, Do not be afraid. I have called you by name.